Hello all traders. Today is Wednesday, 28th of August 2024 and we're gonna have some overview of market condition and any trades that we're gonna take today on the Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures if we see some high probability setups. If you look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the market is very volatile within some wide range. So because the market is not trendy, we need to be very cautious today with this high volatility and we prefer not to trade now so market is very uncertain within this narrow range now so we will wait till this area at least clear if the market reached this area and retest and the buyers came back it's good opportunity for setup b here so let's watch the market and get ready for the price to come completely down here for setup B or here either get rejected or pass this level strongly and become trendy so stay tuned and we will keep you updated so we're back and waited for a while till market reached this support level and it's good for setup B as mentioned we enter some long positions on NASDAQ and also S&P 500 and we don't risk anymore. We also enter just Dow Jones to see what happens in this area that has a good support. So the buyer seems are getting back, but the market is very choppy. We don't recommend in this non-trendy choppy days the novice traders to trade. It's very hard and you can easily lose your consistency so i took some long position with setup c again on nasdaq waiting for more pullback nasdaq and dow jones are, are not sync the crude oil inventory news came and is pushing the price lower so the S&P 500 positions closed with a stop loss. It's good to enter now again with setup B on NASDAQ and maybe add one position to Dow Jones and set up also another position for S&P 500 setting up targets on NASDAQ. Just one position because it's risky and it may pass this level easily. We're ready to take profits very quickly because of the choppiness of the market and high volatility. We just aim for quick call. So you see the recorded video at three times faster speed to save time. It seems the Dow Jones buyers are coming back. The sellers are still strong on NASDAQ and S&P, so I put limit order very low, close to the previous day low on NASDAQ to see if it get filled. I'm gonna close this Dow Jones position because it's very volatile and non-trendy. If the market stay above this level, of 50 that's good news on Nasdaq so let's see if it goes up and then create pullbacks now we're ready to enter with pullbacks because that's a good setup C again at this point and let's set the orders wait for setup C in the middle of channel I manually entered here and set another position also down there and set up the stop for both of them and see if these orders get filled. The cumulative delta is getting positive now and it shows the sellers are not getting strong to push the price lower so just good opportunity to have light positions and manage the risks. So 
So Nasdaq is getting positive. We can close it manually if it doesn't go up. Dow Jones is going in opposite direction. We may get another order field here. That is nice area. We are holding Nasdaq position. Um, the buyers are getting stronger on cumulative delta. You can see it broke the trend line of cumulative delta. The buyers are back on Dow Jones. The second order didn't get filled. So we wait till the second wave of the buyers come back and push the price higher. Close one Nasdaq position. Um, putting another order on the lower part. I close Dow Jones because it's an upper area of channel and we, it may have another pullback again. So now we have uptrend channel form on Nasdaq and we're going to take its pullback. Let's set up T, manually enter here, set up more orders down, and manage that. It was not going up, so I closed manually. So we're gonna now wait for every pullback on NASDAQ to take long position with set up T. We just enter one position on S&P 500, which seems was gonna go and break, but it didn't. So I'm gonna set another position on lower part of channel, the still sideways. One position was filled in the middle of channel on NASDAQ and just close with profit. Dow Jones, we're not gonna take trade now. S&P 500, we're gonna add one position in the lower part of channel and wait for a deeper pullback. Okay, just got filled. Good. Now we see if the buyers are strong to push the price higher and keep the channel intact. And then again enter long position on NASDAQ. Volatility is high, so I'm not gonna add position now till I manage the two positions on S&P 500 getting ready to close one of them because it can fall. Okay, close one and second one, ATM, take care of that. NASDAQ is doing much better than others. So let's enter one pullback here with setup T. If it's not, I'm gonna enter one position manually when I see pullback and then another in the lower part of channel. The buyers are getting strong and you can see delta, cumulative delta is getting very positive. We need a good pullback here to enter. On Dow Jones, it seems we reached a support level. That is good. Let's see. On NASDAQ, the buyers seems came back. I entered one manually and getting ready for another pullback to enter in the lower part of channel. So my average is good and I'm gonna go for quick scalp and manage this tightly because volatility is high and not very trendy. I'm not expecting any runner today with this volatility and the price in the middle of two swings on the hourly chart. So both positions close and we're done for the day. So all these positions were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex trader funding accounts with different ratio and let's look at the stats for this account here that shows it was positive because profit factor as you see is 2.89 and this good number is coming from the high win rate of about 72 percent from all long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio which was around 1.11 the largest winning trade was 300 dollars and the largest losing trade was $154.
So I hope this trace taken by the PAT system for fast sculpting is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.